Hi there guys, welcome to this tutorial on question 1 of the English language uh, unit 1 exam paper. Uh, we're looking at the higher paper and we're referring in this tutorial to the summer 2012 exam. Okay, first thing I wanted to just draw your attention to is the wording of question 1. Often the questions are, are worded with uh, very similarly to, to this one here with um, words like what do you learn? Or sometimes it will be, what do you understand about? And as soon as we see words like this, learn or understand, we know that the examiner is requiring um, us to show skills of interpretation and inference, reading between the lines and being able to sort of read deeply for meaning. So what does inference and interpretation mean? Well, when some of, uh, some of my students come to me and say, Miss, can I talk to you about my homework the day that a piece of homework's due in? I can interpret from that that they haven't done the homework and they're going to feed me a good excuse about a goat eating their homework on the way home. And this is what you're doing on this question. You're taking what's there on the page and you're reading between the lines a bit more and making, as it says here in the top band, perceptive connections. So you're really showing a deeper understanding. You're not just looking at limited or superficial um, surface meaning. Key to this question as well, excuse my uh, touch screen handwriting here, is P. And we can see that because it's asking us for appropriate quotations, isn't it, that support your understanding. OK, so let's have a look at an example from a student who gained full marks on this question. So what do we learn from the article about the Beach to City programme? So the main aim of the RNLI's Beach to City programme is to ensure the safety of children who are unaware of the dangers that the sea can pose. Clear understanding. The programme targets children living in cities around the UK, children of a primary school age. These children know little or nothing of the risks they face while holidaying by the coast. See there, that's interpretive, isn't it? Uh, hopefully you've got your summer 2012 exam paper in front of you and, and can and look at this text in detail. However, the Beach to City scheme aims to turn this around and educate those most at risk. The teams that deliver these important lessons consist of a beach safety supervisor and one of our NLI's very own lifeguards. These people are experts in the, uh, bear with me, in the field of beach safety and therefore the best choice for the job. They face problems whilst trying to deliver their message through lectures um, sorry, lectures though. Lectures do little to educate young children. To capture their audience's attention, the team must spend their 40 minutes making their key beach safety messages as interesting as possible. By including techniques such as play acting, the team ensure the memorability of their message. And I would just um, highlight here the uh, examiner's comment that this is perceptive connections and comments. And it really is the students using quotes such as here, key beach safety messages, um, and they're you know using that quote to help support what they're saying, that the message is um, you know the message is more memorable. The children taking part in this scheme are taught vital information. That's quite interpretive, isn't it? To be able to to evaluate that in fact this information is so important that it's vital. They learn about the beach flags and their meanings, how to protect themselves from the sun, a very simple task, which is often neglected, how to identify and find lifeguards, and most importantly, how to rescue someone from the water. This particular area is focused upon by the team, as drowning doesn't specifically occur at the seaside, but also <coughs> excuse me, in inner uh, city bodies of water, such as canals, where the children live. In con conclusion, the Beach to City programme is a very important scheme which delivers vital information to those most at danger from the sea. That's interpretive. That student is, hasn't been told that explicitly. They've concluded that from what they've read themselves. Statistically, children living in non-coastal city areas being highlighted as a high-risk group, something the RNLI aim to change through the use of this scheme. Uh, currently there are only three cities listed on the Beach to City tour, but this number is planned to rise in the coming years. The good work that is created by the scheme will therefore continue to be more and more effective. And again, another interpretation there, credited. 
So just drawing attention here to the examiner's comment that this is full, detailed and perceptive. There are comments and inference throughout. All aspects are covered. Now, as far as I can see, this student possibly only uses one or two quotations. Um, personally, I think they could have put a couple more in. But the reality is what the examiner is looking for is perceptive, really reading deeply, reading for meaning, showing a really good understanding of the question, what it's demanding, uh, and covering all aspects here of the RNLI. So that's what we're looking for to get a full eight mark question.